What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I've been invited down to a BMW event and look, it's official because I've got a BMW keychain, whatever it's called. But I've been given a brand new 2025 car with only 500 miles on the clock and this thing is absolutely sick. And I've got the keys to it right here. Brand new 2025 X3 M50 in sand dune gray. Look how sick this thing looks. And the color on this is unreal. When the sun hits this paint, it's like a sandy gray. Obviously it's in the name because it's sand dune gray. Very unique, the color, but obviously in this shade, this kind of just a flat gray but trust me when the sun's out this thing looks beautiful we've driven the car around quite a bit so ignore the dirt we got it quite messy but when we picked this car up it was very fresh very clean but obviously i've gone for a test drive and i've managed to get it really dirty look at the front end of this thing for this being a non-m car the front end is very very aggressive and look at these headlights as well these are brand new design headlights that i've never really seen on any bmw i do like them but they don't really scream BMW in a sense. It's not like when this car's behind you, it's not like, oh, I'm a BMW, get out of my way. Do you know what I mean? It hasn't got that aggressive look, but they do look good. In today's video, I want to give you a quick rundown on this car, go through some of the specs, talk about the things that I really like about the car, talk about some of the things that I don't like about the car. And once we're done doing that, we're going to go on a test drive and see how this thing drives. I've driven it, but not fully in sport mode. So we'll chuck a GoPro in my head and just see what I think about this car. So starting off from the front end, like I said, this car is very aggressive for a non-M car and I really like that. We've touched on the headlight design, but a thing that you'll see here is that this grille is actually illuminated, which I actually really, really like. We've got quite a few M touches on this car. We've got an M badge right at the front of the grille. And if we work our way around, you'll be able to see that we've also got some M mirrors with the little winglet. BMW did say that they've added quite a few M features on this car because who doesn't like an M touch on a car? It just makes the car look a lot better that extra little bit of sauce if you know what i mean around we've got some really nice alloys with some really big boy brakes the braking on this car so far has been really well we've got some nice flush door handles which does give the car a really nice luxurious touch and if we come around to the rear we've got some brand new design tail lights and look at the detail in these tail lights these things are really cool of course we've got the m50 badge on the back don't mind the dirt like i said i did drive this car for a little bit of mud and it's got really dirty but Look at it, like the sun's just come out quite a bit and look how nice this colour is. Sand dune grey. Very, very beautiful. Let's see what the boot's saying. Boot space. How do you open this? There we go. The boot's very big. We've also got some, uh, what are these called? Lunch hampers from BMW with, with some nice food in there. Oh, the car actually detected me saying BMW. Hello, BMW. That you can see the screen saying, how can I help? But anyway, very big boot space for all your needs. Let's shut this. A big thing that you're going to see on the back of this car, which is kind of a first for an M light, BMW have started adding these in their like M50, B58 cars, is a quad exhaust. This is actually called an M style quad exhaust and it does look good. It makes the rear end look a lot better, but I don't know how I feel about adding a quad exhaust on a non M car. I mean, it looks great from a customer standpoint. It looks really good. It, it looks better than having the square cut tips. So, Personally, I think it's a good addition. And like I said earlier in the video, BMW did say that they've added quite a few M touches to the car because customers like that. It's good from a sales perspective, I guess. Still focusing on the back, we've got a nice gloss black spoiler. But yeah, that's kind of the exterior bits of the car done. But actually, let me open up the engine bay and I'll show you how it looks. I struggled to find that, believe it or not. So right here is the second generation of the B58. This puts out 398 horsepower to all four wheels. So this uh, is an X-Drive car with a mild hybrid, hence why it does 398 horsepower because the B58 usually pushes out like 340 to 350, I believe. So yeah, this is kind of what the car's looking like in the engine bay. Very normal B58 setup. Shut this back up, there we go. So now let's move on to the exciting stuff, the interior. So looking at the interior, Look how beautiful this place is. It's a nice place to be, very comfortable, very techy. We've got a flat bottom steering wheel with M stitching and a red racing stripe. A very, very big eye drive screen, which I like and I don't like at the same time. It's very techy, but I feel like it has a lot of applications. And a lot of the buttons are actually integrated within the eye drive screen rather than having buttons here on the bottom, as you can see. There's not actually a lot of buttons and these aren't even buttons, they're Touchscreen. I don't like touchscreen. I don't know why. I like buttons. The ambient lighting in the car is very cool. Like you saw when I put the hazards on, it flashes red. Red at the door handles too. 
basic i drive selector the gear stick or gear selector's gone which again i don't like i like having a gear stick to select my gears with i guess it's minimalistic and it's nice but i prefer the gear stick the seats are also very very comfortable i really like them and we've got some nice touches on the seat belts we've got some nice m stitching and in terms of the trim it's got i'm not actually sure what this is called um, but rather than a lever um, or a fake lever this is like a stitch honestly i'm not sure what this is called i'm really sorry but i really like it because it's quite different it's like a fabric material like i said about no buttons in this car this actually controls the level um of what power you want your air vent to be which again is very different i think that's what it does because i've not tested it yet but it seems to do that also got a very big sunroof but unfortunately it doesn't open it's more of a panoramic sunroof it, it's a shame that it doesn't open but coming up from the top just look how big this thing is anyway that's just the basic summary of the car i think the plan now is to get this car on a test drive i'll put the gopro on my head and we'll go for a drive and see how the car is actually before we head off i want to give you guys a few revs just so you can hear what this car sounds like because for a 2025 car it doesn't actually sound that bad <laughs> For a 2025 car, it sounds good. Although this car is very restricted, we've got we've got OPFs and a bunch of silencers. But yeah, I'm gonna put my GoPro on now, and we're gonna go for a drive. A little look here with your GoPro. I know it looks awful, but <laughs> it's worth it for the content. You got the shots. Yeah. Get the shots. Right, guys, we're now recording off the GoPro, and look how beautiful this location is. Um, it feels very weird talking to the camera like this, but yeah, let's get in this car and uh, go for a quick drive. On the paddle shifters, if you might be able to see we've got a boost on the gear. I'm not sure what that does. I think it's some sort of rolling anti-lag. Um, and I want to test that in today's video just to see what it does. Click it into drive. And off we go. The car's already in sport from when we revved it. I'm going to actually, I'm going to do some manual shifting. Got it in S2. So like I said before, this is a mild hybrid with 398 horsepower. The car is quite heavy. Um, which gives us a 0 to 60 of 4.6 seconds, which is still quite good for the car, but it doesn't compare to my M4, which does the 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. More on that on another YouTube video, because I want to do a YouTube video testing some 0 to 60 and 60 to 130 times. But yeah, this video is not about the M4, it's about the X3 M50, so let's carry on going. Some really nice views where we are. We're in Oxfordshire, I think. The county is Oxfordshire. And it's really nice. We've got some pheasants that, oh no, these are chickens. Oh. Get out of the way. Why? Mate, just get out of the way. It's not hard. You've got a car coming. <laughs> Obviously, I can't really give it some because uh, we're in back roads that are very tight, but we're gonna get on a bigger road and we'll see what this car is like to drive. Right, national speed limit road, let's boot it. Up to 60 miles, of course, no faster because you got to keep it legal. But I've got to say, for the size of this car, it doesn't feel very boaty, it doesn't feel very floaty when you're going around corners. It feels very stable. Um, suspension's really nice. And look at the dash as well, look at the colours. Even when you change the mode to sport, you get that red ambient light. And it's a shame that I can't show you what it's like in the during the night. But the ambient line in this car is very nice. You also got ambient line here. Very cool. Brakes, brakes are very good, like I said. <sighs> right, I've got the car coming. Let's do a very small launch control. It's not really, the car's not really set up for a launch, but we can do a launch in manual and just see how it feels. Launch control active, okay. <laughs> Gotta say, from a launch, very it feels very quick. You can feel it in your stomach as well. It feels fast, doesn't it? That is nice. We've got the traction control in sport, so you, you could feel it slipping a little bit. But it did really well because that road back there was muddy as well. Like I said, uh, 
4.4 seconds, not to 60, although it feels a lot faster than that. I wish I had my draggy, I would have been able to test it, but solid car. Would I recommend this car? Yes, I would to be fair, because you've got the tech, you've got the luxurious inside, you've got the comfort, um, you've got the space. You know, I'm, I'm not really the biggest fan of SUVs or big 4x4s, but I would actually own this car if I could. As a daily car, it has everything that you want. You can transport your babies, you can transport your pets. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely car. But yeah, me saying that I like an SUV is a big thing coming from me, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this car is beautiful and you like it too, don't you? Family car. Yeah. And look at that sunroof as well really nice and if you if you look back there you can see that you get like sun visors too very very cool but yeah, we're heading back to the bmw launch event now and we're gonna park the car and we'll get ready to go home i guess and from inside you can hear the fake sounds the fake downshifts but it's not bad it's not bad sounds okay I'd have to have an exhaust on this car if I was to own it because I do like a loud car. But yeah, we're now back at the BMW launch event and we're going to have this car parked. And this is where the video concludes. And I just want to say a massive thank you to BMW UK for inviting me to this event to drive this absolute beauty of a car. And I'm sure there's going to be a few more collabs potentially next year with BMW and we're going to be driving some cool cars. But anyway, like I said, this video is finished now. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like it. Comment, subscribe and share because it helps me out a ton. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.